Do you have any computer, internet, or technology questions? Feel free to ask them at cleartechinfo.com. Remember, the only stupid question is a question you don't ask. In this tutorial, you will learn how to clean up and organize your Windows Vista Start menu. If you don't know what a Windows Vista Start menu is, I'll show you right now. This is your Start button. Click that. And this is your Start menu. I would like to stress, in case you delete any of these icons or folders listed in here, that's not a problem. All they are are just pointers pointing to the exact location of a specific program. A quick analogy is if you're going on a road trip to a city, I'll say Las Vegas, and you look at the signs just to make sure you head in the right direction, and the signs will also tell you how far or how many miles it is to Vegas. If somebody accidentally runs over one of those signs, nothing happens to Vegas. Vegas doesn't automatically blow up. It's just the signs. They just have to replace the signs. That's it. I'll show you an example. If I delete this folder, the program is not deleted. To get the folder back, just go to Computer, C Drive, Program Files. In case you delete anything within this folder, then you have a problem. To get CCleaner back, just go in CCleaner. You can easily just drag it to the desktop and it creates a shortcut to the program. Or if I want to place this back in the start menu, click the start menu, right click here, and click explore. Click this, right click, new folder, C, cleaner, hit enter, go into that folder, and now I go into the original folder, drag this over here, and it creates a shortcut or a link to it. I access the menu again and the folders back. Go in there, click it, and it opens up the program. Many of you have very messy start menus. Some of you may have 60 of these folders and a lot of junk up here. If you want to delete any of them, feel free. Right click, delete. Or if you want to change the name of anything, just right click, rename. You may also just want to get rid of folders entirely because you never use the programs. And like I said, if you delete the folder, you will not delete the program. In case you just want to still keep it in here, but store it within another folder, you could grab, let's say, this folder around right here, click it and hold it. Go up to wherever you want to drag it to, which I'll choose the accessory folder. Just make sure you see that black bar and drop it. So it's gone from the immediate menu, and when you go to the sub menu, it's there. 
And you could always move things around. Say the calculator. Grab it. You could bring it up here. And this initial menu that pops up, these are the programs you have just used recently. And the programs above here are automatically pinned to the menu and they never come down. You could always remove it from the list or if you want to pin something else up here that you use regularly, let you see cleaner, right click, pin to start menu and it automatically gets thrown up there. In case you want to delete anything from this list, remove from list. Here's a quick tip. Sometimes I just rename a certain folder under a category. I'll say media players. And I grab everything that is a media player on my computer and throw it in there. Just grab this. And then throw it in there. Just like a condensed items. And I have a category of media players. Or sometimes it can be utilities. Right click, rename. So everything that is a Windows utility program, I just throw in there. In case you want to make any one of your programs automatically pop up or start when Windows starts, you just click the Startup folder and make sure it's in there. So let's say I wanted to automatically open up Firefox as soon as Windows starts. Just grab this, Startup, and just throw it in there. So every time Windows starts, Firefox will start. And if you don't want it to start again, when Windows starts, you just delete it or you could just move it. And that's how to organize your Windows start menu. For more tutorials, tips, tricks, and advice on computers, internet, and technology, go to cleartechinfo.com.